all this is dr mubeen sayed from drbean.com welcome to one more show today i have an amazing study that i want to discuss with you this is a study that comes out of duke and us university singapore and the study says that inhibiting interleukin 11 improves muscle mass muscle strength and reduces visceral fat improves health span improves life span in older mice so it turns out that hallmarks of aging are accumulation of white adipose tissue in on the visceral areas and number 2 reduction in muscle mass and of course then resulting weakness so this study is very interesting the researchers say that they received some tissue for another study and out of curiosity they looked at the tissues interleukin 11 levels so you might say that why did they want to look at the interleukin 11 level because this is the same team that was working on interleukin 11 even before and this is the team that is responsible for interleukin 11 now being in clinical trials for various other diseases so of course the researcher out of their curiosity looked at the interleukin 11 level and they were surprised to see that as the persons aged as the tissue was of the people with higher ages there were increased levels of interleukin 11 in them so that excited them and they decided to do a mouse model study to see if they inhibited interleukin 11 will that help improve the li- life span and health span and they found out that if they gave interleukin 1 11 inhibitors to mice at the 75th week of their age which is equal to humans 55 weeks and for 25 weeks starting from 75 up to 25 weeks the mice both male and female mice had an improved life span of 25% let's look at this study it is an amazing study so first here are the urls this drbean.com interestingly you'll find out that in this study we're going to talk about jack stat pathway which is an inflammatory pathway we're going to talk about ip3k pathway which is also an inflammatory pathway and nuclear factor kappa b pathway ampk pathways these pathways are the ones just coincidentally i am working on because i believe that we all should have control of the or understanding of major inflammatory pathways and understand how do we modulate them how do we have better life so that if whatever is the length of a life it is healthy life so keep an eye on this uh, course chronic uh, inflam- inflammation in this course i would keep uploading the new lectures we are actually at the lecture number 9 but these lectures are being edited and uploaded now here is the article about this study this is the duke health interleukin linked to muscle loss fat accumulation of aging then this is the paper published in nature on public july 17 2024 inhibition of interleukin 11 signaling extends mammalian health span and life span then guess what i'm sure that you are going to expect that when mubeen will come back to the table with some study he will bring some sort of modulator as well so turned out omega 3 is a modulator of this one so look at this this is a study published in 2021 omega 3 polyunsaturated fatty acids inhibit interleukin 11 stat 3 signaling in hepatocytes during acetaminophen hepatotoxicity So this is an interesting one. We'll look more into this. And this is the um, uh, assistant professor whose team found it, Anissa Vyaja, I believe. So with this, now let's look at my preparation of this discussion. So interleukin 11 inhibits inhibition improves life span and health span so i have no disclosures so here's a study you saw that before now why am i discussing these kind of studies and inflammation look at the end of the day we have been looking at inflammation in terms of the immune system cells and the cytokines 
and the mechanisms that they have but we have never looked deeper into the inflammatory pathways these are the pathways that are running inside our cells and these are the ones that are responsible for uh, inflammatory damage plus aging so some of these pathways are actually overlapping with aging pathways so for example in our discussions that I, I mentioned earlier we have already spoken about TLR pathway and LRP pathway nuclear factor kappa B pathway which is going to be relevant today as well MAP kinase pathway which is also going to be re relative relevant today jack stat pathway you just saw that interleukin 11 actually modulates the jack stat pathway we have also discussed PI3K pathway which is also relevant to the discussion today so we have discussed a bunch of other pathways as well just to show you to keep an eye on that course now here is what they found they found that even the younger cells start producing interleukin 11 but the amount of interleukin 11 is not very high and as we start aging the interleukin 11 starts increasing what they <laughs> did not know was which cells are producing interleukin 11 so they started looking at various cells muscle cell liver cell um, immune cells and they found out a diverse set of cells are producing interleukin 11 so it is not one kind of cell or immune system or liver which is to be blamed as we age somehow interleukin 11 becomes upregulated and what it does is that the pathways that it trigger those pathways then lead to muscle mass reduction muscle strength reduction or frailty and visceral fat accumulation reduction in brown fat increase in white fat hallmarks of aging so what they did was they did this mice study in which they blocked interleukin 11 in mice and they found out that the lifespan was extended by 25 percent and the mice were healthier as well they were less inflamed they had more brown fat than the white fat which gives them better temperature and protects them better so here is what they were saying in the study we proposed that interleukin 11 a pro-inflammatory and pro-fibrotic member of the interleukin 6 family may promote age-associated pathologies and reduce lifespan so age-associated pathologies are the pathologies that happen as we are aging and this they said that we thought interleukin 11 could help um, if we blocked it this premise was founded on the studies showing that interleukin 11 can activate ERK, mTOR C1 and JAK-STAT pathway. So ERK pathway is part of JAK-STAT, it is part of IP3K, it is part of AMPK pathway, it is part of MAP kinase path pathway, it overlaps with nuclear factor kappa B pathway. So it is an important pathway and ERK over here is one important protein within the JAK-STAT pathway as well which is operated by other pathways too for example AMPK pathway the observation that interleukin 11 is upregulated in older people and the fact that interleukin 11 is increasingly recognized to have a role in senescence a hallmark of aging here using a range of genetic and pharmacological approaches we tested the hypothesis that interleukin 11 signaling has a negative effect on health span and lifespan in mice so let's look at their abstract for health span and lifespan ERK AMPK mTOR represent critical pathways and inflammation is centrally important hallmark it is so interesting that I'm actually working on these pathways nowadays here we examined whether interleukin 11 a pro-inflammatory cytokine of the IL-6 family has a negative effect on age associated disease and lifespan as mice age interleukin 11 is upregulated across cell types and tissues to regulate an ERK AM, AMPK mTOR C axis to modulate cellular tissue and organismal level aging pathologies so in, in simple terms what they're saying is that as we age we have increased interleukin 11 which in turn increases inflammatory pathways activities for example nuclear factor kappa b for example ip3k for example jack stat pathway ampk pathway etc 
and the result is that individual cells become start suffering the pathologies of aging the tissue start suffering the pathology of aging and we as an organism start experiencing the pathologies or the problems that come with aging so who is a, an important contributor in this interleukin 11 of course there are other factors as well but interleukin 11 look at its contribution that at the age of 75 weeks of the mice which is equal to 55 years of age of human beings given interleukin 11 inhibition improved the lifespan by 25% deletion of il11 or il11 receptor protects against metabolic decline multimorbidity and frailty in old age administration of interleukin 11 to 75 week old mice for 25 weeks improves metabolism and muscle function and re- reduces aging biomarkers and frailty across sexes In lifespan studies, genetic deletion of interleukin 11 extended the lives of mice of both sexes by 24.9% on average. Treatment with anti-interleukin 11 from 75 weeks of age. So first they deleted the gene. So we can't ask them <laughs> to go about deleting genes in us. So here now they're talking about treatment with interleukin 11. Treatment with anti-interleukin 11. so uh, what i meant was treatment with anti interleukin 11 not interleukin 11 so treatment with anti interleukin 11 from 75 weeks of age until death extends the median lifespan of male mice by 22.5% and of female mice by 25% together these results demonstrate a role of the pro inflammatory factor interleukin 11 in mammalian health span and life span why are they talking about this because majority of the life extension and health ex- improvement studies for especially in the aging area are done on uh, even non mammalian um, things for example insects or in vitro cells and here we are talking about mice which are mammalian and it is easier to see if that can translate to humans as well we suggest that anti interleukin 11 therapy which is currently in early stage clinical trials for fibrotic lung disease may provide a translational opportunity to determine the effect of interleukin 11 inhibition on aging pathologies in older people and then i started looking for what are the supplements and lifestyle choices that can help with the interleukin 11 inhibition and here october 2021 omega 3 polyunsaturated fatty acid inhibits interleukin 11 stat 3 signaling in hepatocytes during acetaminophen hepatotoxicity so this is the discussion thank you very much for uh, tuning in anti interleukin 11 or modulating interleukin 11 should become part of our thinking if you're a doctor healthcare provider it should become part of your thinking for your patients if you are a patient it should become part of your thinking to understand muscle mass reduction fatigue and um, accumulation of fats may be helped by anti interleukin 11 of course there are no human studies yet it's in mice there are lots of stages to go before human studies can occur but very very interesting study so with this thank you very much and of course this is not a medical advice become member of dr bean in the description of this video there are links that would help you become member of dr bean at a very inexpensive rate it's almost criminally low price and if you would like to become part of substack or or a, a patreon or youtube you can do that as well the links are in the description you can use paypal as well you can buy me a coffee as well and those folks who have been part of these uh, areas they do a zoom with me every wednesday at 1 pm pacific and 6 pm pacific so with this thank you very much and have a nice weekend bye for now